1992, Milton Bradley, in collaboration with Games Workshop, created a colossal game called Battle Masters! <laughs> it's an epic game where you command massive armies locked in a legendary conflict of good versus evil. Will your armies come out triumphant? Or will your enemies destroy you? Boys and girls, it's time for war here at the Game Room! In this game, two opposing players will command their armies against each other in open combat. Each army has its own unique number of units. Each unit has its own uh, troop type, such as men at arms, archers, and mounted warriors. The cool thing about this game is there's no uh, turn base. Each turn is represented by these battle cards. You flip the battle card and it will show you a picture, and those pictures will tell you which unit moves and which unit attacks. So you never know whose turn is next until you flip that battle card. Obviously, it takes two players to play the game. However, you can play in teams. So you have to figure out uh, which team member controls what unit when that card is flipped. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to set up the board and about an hour to play uh, each battle. Let's see what's inside. In this game, you should have the battle map, the battle master instruction manual, four hedges, one tower, 59 battle cards, six ogre champion cards, 10 mighty cannon tiles, six combat dice, four terrain tiles, rubble tokens, elite tokens, skull tokens, and unit tokens. On the chaos side, you should have champions of chaos, two chaos warriors, two chaos archers, two orcs, two goblins, two wolf riders, two beast men, and one ogre champion. On the imperial side, you should have one lord mounted knights, three imperial knights mounted, three imperial men at arms, two archers, one crossbowman, and one mighty cannon. I want to show you movement and combat, but before I do, I want to show you one thing before we get started. On the back of these units, uh, you will see a couple information. You'll see the number. This number represents the combat value. Uh, so in this case, two means that's how many dice you roll for defense and how many dice you roll for attack. And right here is what their unit type is. So it's very important before we, before we begin. All right, so in this battlefield, we have our crossbowmen, our archers, and our men at arms. On the other side, on the bad guys field, we have two goblins and two orc factions. All right, so as I said before, there's no turn base, it's all about uh, the cards. So here's the battle master cards. I'm gonna flip the first card. Oh. As you see, we have two pictures of orcs and two pictures of goblins. So you will move, attack, or move and attack. So let's start from over here. So I'm going to move the goblins up forward one. I'm going to move the orcs up one. I'm going to move the goblins up one. And before you attack, make sure you do all your movements first. And then I move my orcs up. All right, so that's that. So now we finish movement. Now we're going to attack. So now the goblins reach to the men at arms. They're going to attack. On the back of them, they have attack value two. And on the men at arms, they have attack value three. So we're going to roll the dice. So here's the two dice. They roll. They roll blank. So apparently the goblins were ineffective in attacking the men at arms. So there's no sense of rolling defense. Okay. So that's, that, that was that turn. So now we flip the card again. Oh, this time it's the Imperial Army. 
So as you see, we have one men at arms, one crossbowman, and one archer. So since these guys are already like you know head to head right here, they can go ahead and just attack them, which they're going to do. Now, if they wanted to, they could move and attack this faction if they wanted to, but you don't have to. It's up to you what you decide to do. You can always you can attack or move and attack this one. But I'm just gonna stay right here and attack those goblins that try to attack me. So I'm gonna roll my dice. Ah, two skulls means a hit. So I got two hits on the goblins. The goblins only have two dice to defend. So they need shields to defend. No shields, they take two hits. And what you do is, to signify that you did wounds to them, you take these two little um, uh, skulls, which consider hits, and you put them on there. Every unit can take up to uh, have like three hit points. So once you uh, get three hits, they're out. They're out of the game. They're defeated. So they have one hit point left, so they're still in the game. So that was their attack. Uh, archers can fire up to two spaces. Now the cool thing about archers, let's say for example this archer was over here. Archers can move one space and fire their arrows two spaces forward. But since, they're, since, since they were here on this turn, and they're in within two spaces, they're gonna go ahead and fire those arrows, and they have three. So you're gonna take your three dice, and we got three hits, yowzas. And the orcs have three dice in defense. Let's see how many shields they get. None. Therefore, these orcs are eliminated by the archers. Way to go, Imperial Army. All right. Now, crossbowmen can shoot up to three spaces, but unfortunately, crossbowmen can, does not have the ability that archers do. They only have two choices. Either they can move or they can fire, but they can't do both. So luckily for the crossbowmen, they're within one, two, three spaces of the goblins, and they're gonna fire uh, their crossbows. Ah, two hits on the goblins. The goblins need to roll some shields, which they do not, and they suffer two hit points. All right, let's discuss how ogres work and how cannons work. All right, let's uh, show you how uh, ogres move and attack. As you see, we have our ogre here. We have two men at arms and an archer. All right, so we flip the battle card, and as you see, we have an ogre. When ogres move, they get to uh, flip all six of these cards. And the reason why is because this ogre is full health, has not taken any damage. Anytime the ogre takes damage, they draw one less card. Plus, these ogres can take up to six hit points, so it takes six damage in order to defeat this ogre. Since he's full health, he's going to flip all six of these cards. So you shuffle the cards and you flip the first one. The first one is movement. It's going to move up one. The second card, another movement. It's going to move up here. The next one is an attack. Ogres attack with um, four dice. They have a uh, four, uh, four on the back of their uh, unit tile. So, ooh, three uh, hits against these um, um, men at arms, and they get to defend with three dice. And they need at least one shield to stay alive, otherwise they are eliminated. No shields are drawn. These guys are out of the game instantly. All right, now we finish our movement. Next one, move. He's gonna move up here. Next one, attack. He's gonna attack those pesky archers. Whoop, drop a die. We'll keep on the floor, it was a blank. He only did one hit on the archers. The archers have three defense, so they're gonna roll three dice against that one hit. A shield was made, therefore archers do not take any damage. The ogre is mad, draws the last card, and of course it is an attack. So, the ogre is gonna try to hit those archers one more time. 
only doing one hit again. Archers. Only took one hit, they didn't roll any shields. So that's how ogres move and attack. All right, we're gonna show you how cannons attack. So as you see, we have our cannon, we have our men-at-arms, we have goblins, orcs, and chaos warriors. All right, we're gonna flip the card, and wouldn't you know it, we've uh, flipped the cannon. So the cannon's going to attack. So. The cannon's going to choose which target it wants to try to hit. Those Chaos Warriors are very, very powerful. I don't like them. I want to take them out. So you're going to put your green target, or your you know, bullseye, whatever, on the, uh, the unit that you want to destroy. So next, you're going to uh, flip one of these tiles one at a time. You want to make sure you shuffle them before you do. Now, you want to flip this one on your own tile because there is a chance you can misfire. Um, there's a chance you could blow yourself up and then the cannon's destroyed in the game and, and that unit is done for. Uh, there's a chance where the, the, uh, the cannonball can bounce doing only one damage to you before uh, reaching to its target. Or the, it could fire uh, perfectly and nothing happens to you. So let's see what happens on our own tile. Ah, it fired perfectly, so we'll put that there. What's the next one? The next one is a, oh, another one. It's going towards a target. Let's see what the next one does. Uh, 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 whoop, another one. Oh, we're sailing away here. And what's the next one? Oh, a bounce. So when this bounces on a unit, um, it does, when it bounces on a unit like that, it does one damage. So you took one damage marker and placed it on that unit. And when it bounces, you can direct it to go this way or that way. So any direction uh, you want it to bounce towards. I think we want to bounce towards our target. So we're going to bounce over here. We flip the next card. It's in there. Uh-oh. It may miss our target. If it keeps going this way, it can miss our target. Oh, it's going to bounce. I'm going to have it bounce to them. And when it bounces, you flip this over. Kaboom. And when it hits the target and explodes, they are eliminated from the game. That's how cannons work. Now, there is a possibility, let's say for example, it bounced, it went here, and then the next card does this, boom. If that happens, it blows up, it was ineffective, it didn't hit the target, but you did do one damage, and that could possibly happen. So be aware when you flip these tiles, because anything can happen. All right, I'm gonna show you how uh, mounted combat works. Um, they move and attack like normal, but there's some special cards I want to show you. So let's start the first example. All right, we have our uh, Champions of Chaos and our Wolf Riders, which are over here. All right, so we're gonna move our Wolf Riders uh, once here, and then we're gonna move our Champions of Chaos up further. We're gonna flip the next card. Ah, we have the... Um, we have here the, the Lord Knights and the Imperial Knights moving up. So we're going to, I'm gonna put these over here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna move this one up here. Move this up over here. Move this here. And we're gonna move this over here. Oh, we're getting close to combat. All right, the next card. All right, this says Wolf times two. Now this is only for movement, not attack. So you can't, let's say for example, if these guys were over here originally and you drew this, it doesn't mean you attack twice. This is only for movement only. But since we're pretty close over there, we're just gonna go, let's see here how I wanna move this. Maybe I want to go one and then two, and maybe I really wanna help, help my buddy out. So I'm gonna go one and two over here. And now that we've reached our target, we can attack only once. Um, the Wolf Riders attack with a two, so we're gonna attack these um, Imperial Knights. So this one, oh, this one was ineffective, and the one back there, two hits. The Imperial Knights have four dice to defend, one shield, so they take only one hit from those Wolf Riders. Oof, that's not good. So that is that. All right, so, sorry, I'm kinda, boop, move my arm there. <laughs> Sorry. So then the next card is, oh look, the, uh, the Imperial Knights and the Lord Knights have an extra die. 
They move like normal, but when they attack, they roll an additional dice. So I'm, since we have no one to attack, we're gonna move this one here, move this one over here, and then I'm gonna attack, this uh, yellow troop's gonna attack this one, and the Lord Knights is gonna attack that one. So the Lord Knights attack, they have a five, but with additional dice, it's all six. Yikes. That is insane. And that's six hits. There is no way those goblins can uh, defend that, but we're gonna give it a shot. No shields. They obliterated them. And these goblins are off the battlefield. Now we're gonna do the Imperial Knights, which they have a four, but with the additional dice, it's a five. Let's see what, how they do. They did only two. So the goblins are gonna try to defend that, which they do not, so they take two, two hits. So they're still standing, but two hits for them. All right. Now we're gonna roll for the next one. Ah, the Champions of Chaos. They have an additional die too, but they have no one around, but they can still do their movement. And they move up one. So, that's how that works. When it comes to towers, obviously only one unit can occupy it. If this unit attacks, because it's on the tower, it gets to roll an additional dice. Since these guys roll three with additional dice, obviously that's four dice that they get to attack. When bad guys, or the, obviously when the bad guys attack it, they get to roll only one less dice when attacking the tower. So these guys attack with three, they, they roll two. These guys attack with a, I think it's a five, and they have to roll four against it. For let's say, for example, the champions of uh, chaos destroy these guys and they're done. They cannot occupy this tower. So the only ones that can occupy the tower are men at arms, crossbowmen, and archers. And from the chaos team, chaos warriors, uh, chaos archers, orcs, goblins, or beastmen. So let's say they destroy that and the next card was beastmen. They can occupy this, and the tower is theirs. Um, another thing to tell you about towers, let's say for some weird, crazy example, uh, a cannon is being fired, and they want to take these guys out. Well, they have to be careful, because if they fire the cannon on this tower, any explosion that happens on this tower, they take one rubble token. And I'm trying to find it. So they would take one, the, the castle will take, they will destroy them, but it'll take, uh, the, but the castle will take damage. So if, if, however, if the cannonball hits the tower with a bounce, and what I mean by bounce, I think I showed you that picture before, but I'm gonna show you it again. If the, if the tower gets hit by this, the tower does not take any damage, but the bad guys that are, bad guys or good guys that are on this will take that one hit. So, but after three, uh, three hits from the, uh, after three explosions from the tower, um, the tower is eliminated from the game. And then it would just be the three rubble tokens that remains from that tower. I just want to discuss the uh, the map a little bit here. As you see here, this is like the small portion of the map because this map is pretty darn big. Um, but as you see on the battlefield, we have a little bit of a river here. I don't know if you can notice this, but there's kind of like a little shallow area that's printed here. This is what's called a ford. Kind of think of it as kind of like a like a like a shallow like watery bridge that units can cross over. So this is probably the only direction. This is like the only space that units can cross over to attack or cross over to move on to the other side of the battlefield. All right, next I want to discuss about tiles. Uh, we have different type of tiles. Uh, this one right here is, a, is what's considered a marsh. Um, anytime a marsh is on the battlefield, no unit can land on that marsh. So let's say it's the beastman's turn to move. Uh, he can't, it can't move on there to attack the, uh, the archers. It would have to go around it. And of course, same goes with the archers. They can fire across it, but they can't move upon it. Let me show you how ditch tiles work. As you see here, we have uh, the ditch tiles here. They have um, 
these little spikes, these little fortified spikes on this side, this side, this side, and this side. But you also notice that the two sides behind them are open. Now, now here's a trick. Let's say the orcs move up and they want to attack. Now they can't, they can't move across obviously, but they can attack. Anyone, including the ones on this tile, can attack each other, but they attack each other with one dice less. And when they defend, they defend with one uh, dice, one additional dice. So if they were, uh, these were gonna fire their arrows upon them, they would have to roll two, but since they're firing their arrows over a fortified area, they get additional dice for defense. So they would roll a two and they would roll four. And then the vice versa. So if they would attack, they would attack less with a two and they would get additional dice for defense with a four. So the best way to attack people that are on these ditch tiles is trying to attack them by the open space. So the beast man can move over here and they would attack and defend as normal with this open space. All right, the last thing I wanna uh, talk about are hedges. These hedges are like these kind of little fence things that you see right here. Now, they're just obstacles. You can't move across it, but you can attack each other without affecting any uh, uh, combat values to each other. So for example, the orcs want to attack the, um, the archers. They roll their three as normal and they roll the three for defense and then vice versa. All right, that's it. Let's get it all! Welcome to the Game Realm. My name is John Green and this is Danny Humphrey. And we are going to play Battle Masters. And Danny, have you ever played Battle Masters before? Uh, this will be my first time playing. Uh, just so you all know, uh, Hero Quest came out in 1989 and Battle Masters came out three years afterwards. And I swear, when I saw the commercial, I was like salivating i'm like i got to have the game and i was i'm so surprised you haven't picked yeah this you up. know i've heard of this game like through the years several times through friends yeah uh never had the chance or the opportunity to actually play it because this was one of those more expensive games that people could have or would own back in the day yeah uh, i wasn't lucky enough to ever like see it or play it or have it mm -hmm. um friends had it never had the opportunity so i'm Kind of excited to do oh, this. Oh, I, I mean, it's, it, like, yeah, this game is it's incredible. It's a really fun game. I enjoy playing this game. It's just it takes a while to set up the board, as you see. It's really yeah, massive. Yeah. It's really cool. Um, but speaking of board games, like, what is your favorite board game? Uh, you it's one? hard not to say it's Hero Quest, <laughs> uh, just because like that really did introduce me into like Dungeons and Dragons and absolutely. Uh, you know, before before you become mentally mature enough or the older kids allowed you into a Dungeons and Dragons game. Yeah. That was sort of like the entryway into that world. Yeah. Uh, so I, it's hard to say that that's not the game. Right now, though, I'd have to say my favorite game at the moment is probably uh, the TMNT uh, oh, Shadows of the Past. That's a fun game. And now let me tell you something. Maybe, maybe when our movie Antique is done and, and over with, we'll, we should definitely do an episode when we play TMNT. I yeah, think, it's I it's think a our blast. viewers would love that. It's a blast. <laughs> I mean, you you actually get, got me um, an expansion that allows me allows us to play the villains in the game. Ooh, that'd be fun. So it can go both ways. It's really neat. It's yeah. fun. That's uh, cool. The miniatures are very well sculpted. Yeah. Uh, my favorite game uh, to play... It's like it's not really Hero Quest. No, it was my friend James. He introduced that Conan the Barbarian board game. Yeah, just I just I lo I'm a big fan of Conan the Barbarian and just the maps, the the the, the figures. They're just so well uh, well sculpted. Or I'm just a, yeah. I'm such a sucker for games with really cool sculpt miniatures. Yes, absolutely. I yeah. mean this and this is a good start. But when you see those Conan miniatures, like oh I gotta play the yeah. game. It yeah. makes you want to play the game. It's very cool. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get into battle. All right, Danny is going to be playing the Chaos Army, and I'll be playing the Imperials. Are you ready, Danny? Yeah, let's get All started. right, let me start out with the, uh, the campaign uh, that we're playing. Gorfist, the Chaos Destroyer, has sent his Chaos Army across the border to destroy everything in its path. An Imperial Army is being assembled by the Grand Duke Ferdinand, one of the Empire's most decorative commanders. The Chaos Army must be prevented from reaching and capturing one of the Border Watchtowers, which will give Gorfist a firm foothold in the Ringworld. The task of stopping Gorfist's Chaos Army has fallen to you. So, your objective 
is to either destroy all of us or be the first uh, first heavily armed armies to get on here. The only people that can be on there are pretty much foot soldiers. No mounted warriors can be on there, or 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 your ogre. Okay, so um, so it's you know reasonable to say that if you take out all my foot soldiers, then I can't capture the building, right? Can't capture pretty the much. Tower. Yeah, yeah. Or if I'm left with no foot soldiers, then I have to kill the rest of you. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I either either destroy my army or take the tower, and my objective is pretty much destroy all of you. Okay. <laughs> Easy so, enough. Easy enough. All right. So uh, to let everyone know, there's no turn base. It's all about the cards. Uh, so uh, Dan, you want to flip the next card and see what pictures you got? Uh, yeah. All right, what do we got there? Uh, is it my Imperial party? Imperial Army. Imperial Army. Those are all the knights. Yep. So these are all moving up one. So I'm gonna move this up. Oh, there's a little crevice here on the on the, the table here. One. Gotta go over this hill here. <laughs> not going well. Two, I'm gonna knock over my uh, horse guys. And two. All right, put this in the discard pile sure. and uh, flip the next one. All right, next one up is Imperial Army. Oh, they're moving up again. All right, wow, I got a big fence there and I can't move past it, but I'm gonna move there anyway. Move up, intercept. What's the next card? Uh, the next card is Imperial Army. Oh, the cannon! I promise I shuffled these. <laughs> okay, I believe you. I believe you. It's some, maybe all yours will be in the bottom and you're going to just destroy me. Yeah. All right. Well, Same. let's see here. One, two. I think I'm going to try to take out these beast guys. Sure. All right. I'm going to fire the cannon. First tile. Fire was a success. Bounce. In the air. Bounce. Oh. <laughs> Beastman destroy. Right, move those guys out if you could, sir. Sure. All right. All right. I'm gonna reshuffle all these again. All right. Flip the next, next card. card. Next card is Chaos Army. All right. What pictures is it? Uh, it is, uh, I guess, well, let me see you. It's a bunch of different ones. Okay, so you get through, uh, so these are your Imperial Knights, or not your Imperial Knights, but your Chaos Knights, or your, your guys Chaos here. Chaos Warriors? Yeah, they're, um, it's these guys and these guys, you get to move those. You move your archers, or fire with your archers, and you move your horse guys. Uh, all of them? Yeah, so you move all five of those. So Chaos Warriors, mm -hmm. Chaos Archers, and then the chaos, champions? The champions, correct. Okay. And uh, how much do I move them? One space. Okay. All right. So let's go. And then the archers can shoot how far? Two hexes. Okay. So I will move my chaos warriors up one. Okay. And then move my... Chaos Archer up one. Okay. Um, you can't. You can't obviously sit on the other guys. No. So it, yeah. You have, like, to have an open space. Right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I will move my Chaos Archers this way, mm -hmm. and this Chaos Warrior will have to guess stand still. Okay. He's kind of blocked in his path right now. But my champions, I guess, will move up this way. Excellent. All right, flip the next card, see what happens. Yeah. Uh, Chaos o o Army. Uh, uh, Chaos Army, this is the cha Ogre Champion. Okay. Ogre Champion. So, flip, the, uh, flip those uh, Ogre Champion cards uh, next to you when you uh, get a chance. Okay, and this just will, one? Uh, one at a time, yeah. Let's okay. Uh, ogre attack. All right. Well, there's no one to attack, yeah. so you just leave that. that that's, that's pretty much a blank card. Okay. Uh, what's the next card? Next card is ogre attack. All right, that's a blank card. There's no one to attack. Yep. The next one is ogre moves. All right. So you move them up one. Okay. If you need help, I will help you move. I got, I got it so far. All right. Not past my threshold here. Yeah. Uh, do you just go through all five? All, all actually all six. Okay. Yep. Uh, ogre moves. All right, I'll go on there. Okay. Yep. Uh, 
fifth one, ogre moves. So which one to go with here or here? Uh, yeah. Move them up here. Yeah. Uh, and the next one. Next one. Uh, ogre attacks. attacks. So. Don't attack. So all right. So that, shuffle these. Yep. Reshuffle those. So he's kind of reminds me of like he's kind of the uh, chaos army's version of a cannon. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but this cannon can move. Yeah. <laughs> it's do some serious damage. Yeah. yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. We got our cannon. You got your moving, muscular, gross cannon. <laughs> okay, gotcha. All right, uh, what's next? Next card. Yeah. Next card is Imperial Army. Uh, uh, the horse all riders. the horse guys. Man, yeah. they're making attacks here. Yep. All right, so we're going to go one here, one here, and now they get to move and attack. So these guys attack with four, attacking those goblins, and you defend with the two. Here's your dice. Here is mine's dice. I'm going to roll. I have shields. It's ineffective. So. Okay. All right. The knights showed up and said, "We don't know what we're doing." Swing, swing. Yeah, swing, swing. The, the goblins deflect. Uh, next card. Next card. So this is going by pretty quick. Yeah. Chaos army plus one dice horse riders. Ah, uh, yes. The horse, horse riders. Rider, yeah. The horse. This is the horse riders. You're uh, these guys here. Okay. So when they move and attack. They get to roll additional die. Okay. But uh, since there's no one there, you just get to move them. And uh, uh, what's their movement? Still one? Still one, yes. Okay. So, no, uh, yeah, it's these guys there. Just these guys? Just those guys, yep. The cha these are champions. Champions, yes, because it's you only have you only have one horseman. You have one horseman, you have two wolf oh, riders. Okay, okay, I got you. So there's a distinction there. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah, so you'll notice the wolf riders. They're very, uh, you know, they're very detailed. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, if you, yeah, if you want to move the cards over towards closer to you, that might be easier, you know, instead of reaching over there. That That's was fine. my bad. I gave you that. Uh... <laughs> That's fine. Might be easier. Okay. What do we got? Same cavalry. Uh, no, it's two, two different, two different ones. Yeah, two different ones. The uh, the colorful ones and this guy with the two feathers. So he oh, I got you. he moves up one, and then I'm gonna move one here, and I'm gonna move one here. These guys are attack those goblins. This one's gonna attack that goblin. So here, let's do the yellow knights against your uh, your first goblins. Oh, and they have an extra die. Is that what it is? Yep. Oh, so give me give me another die. Get this one real quick. Four skulls. So you need at least you need at least two shields to stay alive in this game. And that's for the guy. Yeah, uh, for the, yeah, these ones right here. I only got one. All right, so they are wiped Toasty. out. They're toasty. Yeah. You got it? And then we will, I'm going to roll, roll again. Yeah, I'm going to roll five dice for the red di red knights against your other goblin fleet. Only two this time. So let's see how many shields you get. Just Ooh, one. Only one hit. So you put that on your uh, goblins. Okay. And that's the knights. All right. All right. Next, uh, Imperial Army horse riders. All right. So I'm just <laughs> That's the one with the feathers. Yep. And I'm moving up. Yeah. The, okay. So the two feathers mean those guys. The one feather means those. Guys. Right. Okay. All my riders are moving up fast. Yep. Uh, Chaos Army. Uh, I guess I don't know. Okay. So Some... you get to roll, uh, roll or attack all your goblins. So goblins, your beastmen, which are the black ones, uh -huh. and your wolf riders, one. Okay. And so I we can move one. Yeah, we normally what they say is do your uh, move, do your movement first before attack. Sure. So whatever you want to move first. Okay. Well, uh, my beastmen, I guess I'll move up. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so would you say beastmen and wolf riders? Beastmen, wolf riders, and goblins. Oh, and goblins. Okay. So I'm gonna make some space over here, I think. I'm gonna move this guy this way. Sounds good. Um, I, I'm gonna move um, the beastmen, I guess, up here. Sounds good. And then uh, the two wolf riders, I'll move in this direction. One, and then one. Excellent. 
Uh, and I can attack with my goblins right here, right? Correct. Yes, you can move and attack. Well, at least so they'll be here. able to attack once before they die. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> let's, hope, let's hope it's effective. So those are two dice. Okay. I get to defend before. Okay. So, all right. And I got to choose which one? Or? Yeah, choose which one. Right one or the blue one? Uh, I'll just take the blue. I'll go for the blue okay. one. Okay. Inside. Sounds good. Uh, maybe I'll go. You know what? I'm going to go for the red since he could move up, you know, closer. Sure. Okay. Faster. Sure. I'm going to go for the red. Go for the red one. All right. What you got? One skull. That's how many shields I got. Zero. I take one hit. Yeah, they. Even if they die, at least they were semi-effective. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Well, that was that. So let's roll the next card. Okay. See if it's the chaos or the. The next Imperial. card is Chaos Army. Ooh, this one is um, your Chaos Champion. Uh huh. Your Beast Man and your Goblin. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move my beastmen here. Sounds good. Um, probably attack. Sure. Set, settle up that first. Yeah, and then uh, do you want do you want to actually do your movement first? So oh, move, all movement. Move, first. Yeah, all movement first. So you want okay, your... so champions moving up one. Perfect. Now we do attack. Okay, and that that was. Uh, I only have one goblin. Oh, you killed the other. Yeah, I did. I slaughtered him. All right. All right, so uh, which, who's attacking first, the goblin? Uh, or... I'm gonna go with the goblins first. All righty, and you're attacking who? The blue or the red? Uh, let's stay on the red. All right. Ooh, that's a nasty. If I don't get any shields, the the red knights are toast. You got two, Ball three <laughs> shields. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Yeah. We're we are ready for it's that more. It's a war. Yes. Uh, now you have okay. your beast men. Uh, the beast men. Uh, he's gonna seize the opportunity and attack the red. Yes. Is that three? We yeah, got three. Three. Here you go. Yep. I defend the four. So I'm probably your dice when you're done. Ooh, two, two. hits. Yep. Let's see what I got. One. Take one. And but so I only took one. Yep. All right. So he's got. They got one hit point left, and then they are annihilated. <laughs> okay, that's that. All right. Next bout Next coming up. All right. Chaos Next is, bout is Chaos Army. Oh my god! Okay, we have uh, the Chaos Champions. Mm -hmm. Your um, your two knights, your two uh, Chaos Knights, we, we want to call them, and then warriors. your archers. Yeah, your two Chaos Warriors and your archers. Okay. Uh, Chaos Warrior gonna move this way. Smart. And Chaos Warrior gonna move up. And then you got two archers to move. Two archers? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you ha you're you can be two away before you hit, correct? Yeah. So you have to be. So if you move your archers here, they can fire. They have to fire within two I gotcha, spaces, I gotcha. and they can't fire over friendly. I got gotcha. you. Oh, they can't fire over friendly. No, they can't. They can't. Sorry. Okay. They can't. Yeah. All right. Uh, just moving up and then moving up. Okay. And then you want to move up your knights over here. Yep. And I do. And then you're gonna do some serious damage. All right. How much do you attack with? Five. Five, and I attack. I attack with five. All right, cool. Oh, all right, so it's even. Yes, it is even. Oof, this is brutal. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This, this is going to be ugly. Oh, I only got one. Oh, yes. All right. Yes, yes. I'll take that one. Come on. Shield. Got Two yeah. shields. Block that attack. Right? That could have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, okay, ugly. next. Yes. Next up, it is Chaos Warriors. Chaos Warriors. All right, yeah. So, uh, so that's your uh, Goblin Riders. Uh, your uh, yeah, your Goblin Wolf Riders and your Goblins. Oh, the Wolf Riders. All right, I'm gonna go this way with one of them. Okay. And then I'm gonna go this way with one. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to make it look good. He's obsessed with the horse's crutch. <laughs> Alrighty, so on oh, this and then your goblin. So which goblin's gonna attack? Uh, the one that's probably injured. Alrighty, that makes sense. Yeah, that's the only one I have left. Yep. That's you, yeah, you only have the one with annihilated. Like Attacking the red. Uh oh. One. one hit. Can I get a shield? Red knights are eliminated by the goblins. Yeah, Ooh. he did his job. Yep. He did his job. You know, if he dies, that's what he was meant to be there for. That's right. If he dies, he dies. Dies, dies, right. Put this up here. 
Got these red markers here. Alrighty, wow, that's not looking good for the Imperials. Alright, they lost one of their good knights. What's next? Alright, next card up is Chaos Army plus one <laughs> dice. Alright, so that means these guys can tackle all six dice. So, put her there. Alrighty. Oh man, this is ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Uh, three. Ooh, so I need five. Oh man. I need at least one shield to stay alive. Two shields, so I'll take one. That could have been worse for you. Oh yeah, absolutely could have been worse for you. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Mm, that was easy enough. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, Chaos Army. <laughs> <laughs> the cats are good. All right, so it's these guys again, and your wolf riders. Uh, okay, so wolf riders taking advantage here, going this way. All right, and then the other wolf riders move it up. Yeah, makes sense. And ooh, this is a oof. That's looking ugly. So who do you want to attack first? Uh, let's go with that, that the, the yellow horses. All right, so what do they attack with those wolf um, riders? The wolf riders attack with two. All right. Woof. One. One. No shields. The yellow knights take one hit. And then the other wolf riders. Uh, the, uh, the the lord knights. Yep. Oh my god. I'm getting. One. Woof. It's not looking good for the lord knights. No more hit. They're out. And then. No, and then you have to roll for these guys. This guy, the champions? Yep. Here's, here's your five dice. One, two, three, five. Oof. Two. I need two shields. I need two shields. Lord Knights are eliminated. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> All right. Oof. All right. Action forward. Next. Yes. It, next card is uh, the chaos. <laughs> chaos, chaos again. Maybe all mines are mine are all mine or mine are on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, I yeah. guess. All right. So uh, yes, move your um, your chaos warriors. Chaos warriors. Chaos warriors. Your archers and your uh, your your chaos champions. Okay. So chaos archers are going to move up here and they're going to fire fire over at the yellow guys. Gotcha. Uh, Chaos Archer moving up. Mm -hmm. um, can't fire. Yeah. Uh, so they're gonna wait, and then uh, what else did you say? Yeah, your two warriors, and then your your champion. The warriors are kind of stuck in place. Except for that one could kind of move up one, maybe. Yeah, that one, that one could move up one. Um, yeah, they'll move up. And then you're gonna move this guy up one. Uh, here or here. Yeah, he'll just move, he'll move straight. He'll, he'll just move, move straight, straight forward. Yep, that, that's him. Okay, put this back, flip the next card, and see what we got. Movement phase. Oh my god. Uh, next oh, one. Oh, I'm sorry. If you want to fire your archer, your, your, your oh, archers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Let me fire. Yeah, I got the fire. Uh, he's got two. Okay. That's two. One shield. They're down two, one more, and they're out. Yikes. Uh, well, I saw the next one. It's your cavalry. Woo! Actually, oh yeah, it's actually it's everybody. It's the it's the horsemen, it's the soldiers, it's the crossbowmen, and the archers. Larry, it's the entire army except for the cannon. Moving first, crossbowmen are moving up one. Archers are gonna fire. Yeah, because they're two away. Soldiers are moving up. Oh my God! You notice these army cutting up. We gotta help these guys. We're moving up. We're moving up. They're attacking that. They're attacking that. And then they're attacking that. And they're firing on that. So let's <laughs> let's do the archers on um, on the knights. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to move them. Uh, archers and knights. So they fire with three, two hits. Okay, that's pretty good. Yep. Uh, they get five touch of ten. Oh, you have two shields! Two shields. All right. so, I, I, only, I only wrote two hits. Okay, right? okay. Yeah, so you okay. you blocked it. You guys you guys are raging. Now it's my soldiers, my Imperial soldiers, my men at arms are gonna attack you. Ineffective. 
your war champions. Alright, so then these guys can't do anything. They can't do anything. Alright, so the yellow knights on the horsemen. The wolf on riders. the wolf riders, yes. Two hits. Nice. Two hits. That will probably take damage. They get two to defend. Mm -hmm. Nothing. You take two hits on those guys. How did you determine what their life is? Oh, it says in the back. Every every unit has three three hit points. The only one that only has, only one that only has six is your over. Okay. So um, yes, uh, my blue knights against those goblins. One hit. Okay, rolling to defend. They defend. They, defend, they, block, they blocked it. They did one hit. So that was um uh, that was ineffective. Wow, well, that was uh it, you almost caught up by being able to move everything. Yeah, but man, I really nice at least do some at least do some damage. At least I did damage to your wolf riders. That's about yeah. it. How many how many units have you lost? Just one? Uh I lost two. Okay. Well, you've so lost two. We're even yeah, right we're now. so far. We're even yeah. right now. I've lost two as well. So. Alrighty. Flip All the right. next one. Super next one is you again, the the double and the single. Oh, the knights. Well you killed my lord champions. I'm gonna move this guy here just so I'm in a position. They're gonna continue getting those goblins. They're gonna finish off those wolf riders. Okay. So the wolf riders attack. Only two hits. That's pretty good. Yeah. They only have two to defend. Mm -hmm. And this is their last hit, so. And they, they are eliminated. Alright, and, oh. and the blue knights. It's against those damn goblins. That's two. Two. Hits. They're most likely gone. But they what? Shield, they live again. They do live again. <laughs> They're hanging on by a thread. Man, you got to promote those goblins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, flip the next card. And see where we're okay, at. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Uh, Chaos Army. Chaos Army. So it's all orcs and goblins. Orcs. Orcs. The two orcs are the way back. That you haven't even moved yet. Oh, Your orcs. Okay, orcs. Yep. Um. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna move this goblin right smart, here. Smart, smart. So that way I can. Either way, I'd have to move these guys twice. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go this way with him and then move up here. Smart. All right. So we're attacking with the goblins first, or the yeah, orcs first? Yeah, I'll I'll attack with the goblins. All right. It's like this. They seem to be. Did you get a marker in either one of those? Uh, no, no. These guys have not been hit. Okay. okay. The yellow's going. Okay. Yeah. Center down that blue. Alrighty. Uh, one hit. One hit. Two shields. Nice. Ineffective. Okay, and then orcs on that same blue. So is that three? Is that three here or two hits? Yeah, three. Yeah, and orcs. The orcs are a little more powerful than goblins. Alright. Two hits. Let me borrow one. Two hits with a no shields. Uh. Wow. So they take two. They take two. So both the blue and the yellow are down to one hit point. Okay. Ugh. Doing, well, doing some damage. They're getting slaughtered. Alrighty. All right, next card up. Next card up is Ogre. The Ogre champion. Oh no, oh. this could be brutal. This this okay, is Okay, so be... I'm going through the cards. Yeah, because the, the Ogre has not taken any hits, so he flips all six cards. So what's the first card gonna be is the question. Ogre moves. Alright, where does he want to move? I can move him up here for you if you want. Yeah, let's do that. I'll move him up here. Alright. Next just... card. Uh, ogre attacks. He's not there yet. Yep. Next card. Ogre moves. Alright, where is he going to move at here? Uh, right in between there. Right in between there. Alright. Yep. Next card. Ogre attacks. Alright, which one is he going to attack? Uh, which, which one has the higher defense? Uh, they both have three. Okay, okay. Um, I will attack that, this guy, right? The men at arms? Yeah. All right, roll four dice. See what happens. Ooh! Four. I need four. at least, I need at least two shields. Oh, maybe a four? Yeah. I need four. Yeah, yeah, I need at least two shields or else I am out. Well, not enough. He Black. He He's gone. All right. Uh, flip your other cards. All right. Next attack is ogre moves. Oh. Um, yeah, you, you don't have to move. If you don't want to. You want to stay put. You can't stay put, or you can move. That's that's the rules. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put ogre move one. 
Yep. Right here? Yep. All right. And then the, the last, last one's one gonna be an attack. is an attack. All right. Which will be on those guys. Yep. Roll four dice, and I defend with three, and God help me. Three. <sighs> Out of four. Jesus, come on. I need at least one shield. One shield. Eliminated. It is not looking good for the Imperials. Not looking good at all. All right. What's next? What's the next card? Uh, the next card is Imperials, archers, and whatever those archers guys are. Archers and men at arms. Okay, I'm gonna move back on here. Alrighty. Um, damn. I'm trying to find the, the most smart way to do this, but those are your men at arms, right? Yeah, they are. So I'm gonna move my archers here, and they're gonna fire. I'm gonna move these guys up here. Okay, so you two away. I really yeah. do, man. I'm really not looking good. I've not been rolling good. All right, um, let, me, let me shuffle these again. All right, I can only fire up to those um, those wolf guys. Actually, no, I, I can't fire them. I'm not in line of. Yeah, I have to be literally like straight. So yeah, um, on the wolf riders. On the wolf riders. Yeah. Okay. One. One hit. Two to defend. None. All right, well, well, one hit. Better than nothing. All right, flip the next one. Next card is Chaos Army. <laughs> All right, your Chaos Warriors move up one. Uh, yep. And your other Chaos Army. You have another one there. Uh, yep. Uh, your Archers can move or fire. Archers will move this way. Uh huh. And then archers will stay put. And then you have your champions of chaos. Well, if I wanted to move these archers up one, I could, right? You could, yes. Yeah, because I'm still two away from these guys. Right. Right. But if you move here, uh -huh. you're not. You only have one, two. You only have fire. You can't. You know what I mean? No. I. You can't. I, you get the fire in a straight. You can't do like hex, hex. Oh. I see. It's got to be in a relatively straight line. Right. It's not just two spaces away. As far as I think, I, I think that's how it is. But I'm fine either way. They shoot in space. Shows but if I could move up, I would. Actually, no. It's okay. The shoot in space shows the red Imperius at archer's attack range. He can attack any of the four chaos armies. No, you can move there and, and fire. And still attack on those yellow horses? Yeah. Okay, I will elect. Okay. All right. So let's do... Uh, who, who, who are we attacking first? Oh, uh, you, have, you have to move these guys. Okay, here. yeah. Sorry. Move them straight. Straight here? Yeah, right there. All right. Who's attacking first? Um, let's handle those guys first. Alrighty. Yikes, you will five to get those out of the way. Oh my god, ugly. Clear the way for the rest of these guys. Oh, oh my god, god. I... Woo! Uh, three to hit. I need at least one shield. Come on, come on, shield! Ow! The slaughter. He gone. Gone! Uh, all right, my archers. Archers, you roll a two. Uh, yep, uh, on the yellow horses. But yep. actually, on the blue horses. On blue horses. Yep. All right. One. Out. And the yellow one. All right, and uh, these archers on the yellow horse. Two. Two. Out. Not looking good for the Imperials. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, this is terrible. That's it, right? That's it. Okay. That's terrible. Next card. Yeah. You might get like ten cards next. Ah. <laughs> well, that's you. You got cannons. Oh Jesus! I hope I can fight. Um, yeah, kill these friggin' knights if I can. Yeah, All right. right. Here we go. Bounce. I hurt myself. It was a misfire, but I can bounce it to the direction I need it to be. How do you know it's a miss? Oh, because it, it says yeah, on the yeah, bounce. So it bounces. Okay. And then it's in the air, and then these champions are dead. Ooh, those are that's brutal. Yeah. Boom. No rolling. They're just done. They're just done. That's a that's a that's cool the good up. thing about the cannon. Yeah. I'm gonna reshuffle these again. Uh, flip the next card. All See right. where we at here. The next card are your archers. 
But I think you're gone, right? Uh, is there any? No, just yeah. Arches are dead. Arches so next cut. Mm. Uh, next one is your two feather guys, and they're, I think they're, they're dead. Gone. They're dead. You've annihilated everyone but my men at arms. Uh, the next one is, I think that's goblins and my rider. Goblin you riders. Just, you just killed my rider. Yeah, so you're a goblin rider. And that's a wolf rider. Wolf rider. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, wolf riders. So your wolf riders are the only ones left. Okay. And, but my goblins are still alive. No, it's just, it's, it's just the wolf just riders. Wolf rider. and just, it's just riders. Okay, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, well, move it up. Now, gonna... you can attack across these spikes. And if I recall, they def you defend as normal, but if, I, if if you're attacking across these spikes, you roll one dice less. Oh yeah. And then I think I defend. I said I defend as normal. Yeah. Is that how it works? On the spikes, if I recall, yeah. Hold on, let me reread re that. It seems like it'd be more defensive. No, it is. It's weird. Um, it might be one of like the maybe types. I keep my same dice, but your defense goes up by one or something. I, I think yours goes down. Your attack goes down by one. I think that's how it is. I think my defense pay okay, ditches. Battlefield. So page thirteen. All right. Any unit, including the unit standing on the ditch tile that attacks archers across a fortified side of a ditch, rolls one combat die less, and a defending unit rolls one combat die more. Okay. Yes. Okay. Except archers and crossbowmen attack across fortified side ditches as regular. All right. So you roll one less. I roll one more. Okay. Okay. That's Fair enough. I only got two, so I'm gonna roll one. I got more. All right. My got a. Uh, my cannon's got two. But with additional, I get three. No shields, they take one hit. One more hit, and these guys are plowy. And that's it. What's the next card? All right. Next the Imperials card. are not doing good, ladies and gentlemen. Next card is Imperial, a bunch of different ones. Okay, let me look at the time. Oh my god, this battery is almost going to go out. Let's see here. Yes, my crossbowmen, my archers, and my men at arms. So we're going to move. Look out! Up onto the castle. Oh wow, you can do that. Yep. And I can fire upon those. I'm gonna move up to help these guys and these guys who are. So when you're on the castle, you're allowed to like fire on how many spaces? Are I can roll one additional die. But I still have to fire within three. Range. Within three. But I forgot I can't fire and attack your crossbowmen. Thanks for reminding me. I can only move up. I can't move and fire. Okay. okay. So they're up, but they can't do anything. These moved up and they're gonna attack them. Sure. And they can't do anything because they're cannons and they can't do anything until it's their turn. So and I I move them up one, right? Yep. Then no, I'm you have them. Yeah. There, now they're moved up. Late to the party! Alrighty! Let's do the men in arms first. That's all I can do. Men in arms and those guys. Two hits. Two to defend. None. Black. So they're gone. Riders are you gone. got rid of the wolf riders that were up on your doorstep. Jeez. Now I have to get rid of this guy from my doorstep. I can't believe these goblins are still alive. I, me too. <laughs> I've been rolling so bad, and you've been rolling. <laughs> well, I've had a lot more cards than you. That is true. So I might, okay. mine and my all baby. The next up is the Chaos Beast. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Uh. Well, he can only move one. Can he attack the guys on top of that castle? He can, but he can't be on top of it. So he can attack it, but he only attacks with one die less. And I defend with one die more. Oh, well, I mean, I might as well try. No, I'm... S no, I defend with normal by attack one. Yeah, okay. That's how that works. Yeah, I, I can he move into that river? Yeah. I'll move him straight in between there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. No, like straight in between. Oh, no, you can't go in the river. You gotta go, in the, there's like the little bridges oh, oh, here. Oh, on the side? Yeah, there's like little bridges you can cross. So this is the only place you can be there to under attack them. Oh, I gotcha. Uh, you know what, then? I'm gonna take my chances and go up this way to your guys. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna do that. All right. Remember, you have to roll the six, uh, you gotta roll those cards, or flip those cards. Yeah. So your original were here. Yep. See what the first card was. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah remember. In order to move. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, uh, he moved. Right, so, so he moves. Okay, I'm sorry. Down. So he's it. Okay. Uh, the next one is he moves. But so I'll, I'll move him up one. Right there. There you go. Oh my god, this is nasty. Uh, next card attacks. Uh, I, I'm gonna attack the cannon. Yeah, I yeah. So you roll one uh, die less. I roll one die so more. So he's got three. All right. So here's that. And I got three. All right. God help me. I got one. Please shield! 
Cannons are destroyed. Alright, alright. That was a lucky one. Yeah. Alright, uh, my next target, uh, he attacks. Okay. He needs two more dice. One more dice. Two. Alright, so. Okay. Come on. One shield, one hit. And the next one, he attacks again. Of course. Alright. Two. Two. Dead. What's your last card? Uh, my last card, I probably is a move. So I'll just. Uh, I'll just move this way. Sometimes, it, sometimes it all depends on the cards. If you got yeah. most of your cards beginning, well, you can kick butt. Well, if you got butt. a bunch of archers and shit left. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it depends on the die roll and the cards. Like shuffle so, these ooh. again. Yeah, the chaos, the chaos army is whooping the Imperials' butts. So Gorfis is probably laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and my guys are like, come on, we must retreat, never retreat. Fight to the very last man! <laughs> Pick the legs. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Next oh. one, uh, Imperial Army, the two feather guys. They're dead. Next one, Imperial Army, the cannon. Dead. <laughs> Next one, a Chaos Army. Oh, that's, um... That is everybody except for your ogre. Except for the... Except for this guy. Except for that guy. Yeah, everyone moves up one except for that guy. Alright, moving up, 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 moving up. Alright. That's it. Alright, uh, Danny moved up his army, so alright, let's, um, next what's card? the next card? <laughs> the next card is the Chaos Army Archers, and then the Rider, which I think is dead. He is right? dead, I, the cannon blew him up. Yeah, but my Archers are still alive, mm -hmm. so uh, my Archers will move up one, I think I only have one more here. Okay. Yeah, move just one more there. Alright, oh boy, it's looking ugly. Of course, I can't cross these marshes, so I have to go around. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, marsh you can't cross. Okay, That's why I'm, gonna, those are I'm gonna have to pay attention to that then. All right, what's the next? All right, card? next card. Um, I guess uh, orcs, orcs and goblins. Orcs and goblins. Orcs goblins move up one. So I move these up here. Yep. And and forward. Orcs can move up one. You yep. got that? You move the other orc. Yep. And that's that. Move it. All this right. is an ugly, 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 ugly battle. Uh, Imperial Archers. They're dead, you killed no, them you all. Got, you got, you no, got, he's a crossbowman. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, they're different. Uh, uh, Beast Man. Oh, your ogre. Oh, no! Well, he's going to be moving. Yeah, if anything, well, if you think about it, if he's, he is going to hit, he's going to probably move up to here, and that's all he can really do. Well, we'll see. It depends on the cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I believe that there's, what, two movement cards? Or there's three movement cards and three attack cards. Oh, okay. okay. So, so one, one, two, three. I could get him over there. You could. It's up to, Yeah. But he wouldn't be able to attack. The best idea would be that way. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, attack, can't attack. Move, move. Uh, yeah, here, either one. Works. Okay, fine. Uh, next one is a move. Move to the bridge. Next one is attack. Can't attack yet. Next one is attack. Can't attack yet. So he will move up. <laughs> That's all he does. That's Ooh, all I got lucky. That could have been, been lucky. That could have been really ugly. Whoo! All right. If there's any luck needed, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, my horse now is so ineffective. <laughs> Alrighty. Next card coming up. Uh, uh, Chaos Army. Riders gone, but I think my Wolf Riders are still here. Uh, no, Wolf Riders, I d decimated them. Oh, yeah, so all Riders are gone. Yeah, all Riders are dead. Okay, so that's an empty card. Mm -hmm. Next card up uh, is uh, Chaos Army. And it's got a lot of different things. That's everybody. Is it? Everybody except for your Ogre. Okay, well... Um, I'm going to move the archers up one since they're a space away. Mm -hmm. well, can you move? It, can you move it like there? Right instead? here. Instead, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that way, it's got like a path to go that way. Sure. Oh, uh, but they can't go through the marsh, can they? 
they have to go to the bridge. Yeah, you were right. Put it put it right where you had it before. Yeah, you, you can still fire upon yeah. it. You fire, I think you fire with one uh, dice less. Okay. Uh, these archers, I think I'm going this way. Mm -hmm. These Chaos Warriors going up. Yep. These Chaos Warriors going this way. Goblins moving up one. Yeah, just moving that direction. Orcs, orcs moving up. Yep. These guys moving here. Yep. And these orcs will follow suit in this direction. All right. Ugh. This is ugly. Ugliness is happening. What's next? Next, uh, the Chaos Beast. God damn, man. <laughs> He's coming out. How many times that. Dude, this. Ugh. This is ugly. First one is a moves. Uh, you, can, you can decide yeah, to stay. I'm going to move behind the castle. And also, guys can move in. Yeah. All right. Uh. Next one is a move. I'll move one more. Right here? Yeah. Next one is attacks. I'll go ahead and attack. All right, we'll do one last because you're attacking again. Yep. All right. And I defend as normal. All right, got it. Okay, one. Come on, one shield. All right. Next one is a move. He'll stay where he is. Uh, Next one is an attack. Yeah. One. Okay. Uh, next one is an attack. Yep. That's two. Not enough to stay alive. And of course, the ogre can't take that thing up. It has to be a ground troop. So, would you have all ground troops? Any one of them can uh, take it over. The ogre can't, but like. Uh, the ogre can attack it, but he can't climb on. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. So any archer or warrior or anything can get up there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any ground troop okay. can do it. Gotcha. Yeah, the wolf riders can't go up there only. Ground gotcha. Troops. All right, so, yes. I don't know if it's going to matter, but I'll shuffle these anyway. Yeah. Well, all right, next one. Holy cow. Is Imperial Army. Uh, it's the uh, horse, horse riders. riders. They're done. Uh, that Imperial Army. Hey, I can move up one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, next one, uh, horse riders. They're dead. Next one is soldiers. Move it up one. I, I, think, all my, I think all my cards are in the bottom. Finally got the move, guys. Yeah, finally in the fight. Next one, uh, wolf riders and goblins. I think. Yeah, you can move your yeah wolf riders and goblins. So you can move your goblins up one. Yeah, move them up one. Uh, next card, uh, wolf riders, which are gone. Mm -hmm. Next one is your riders. They're dead. They're gone. Next one is your guys again. I yes. Think. I'm going to move them up here. Yeah, I'm going to try to intercept if I can. That. Yeah, that guy can go around the damn marsh. All right. Next one, riders. Sweet. They're dead. Yeah, you guys all came at the end. Yeah, all my guys came at the end. Yeah. <laughs> and, they're, and they're coming in hard. Yeah. Uh, Ogres and goblins, I think. Uh, those are orcs and goblins. Orcs and goblins. So move them up one. Yep. Uh, you can cross this bridge if you want. Uh, sure. All right. Yeah. Uh, wait, orcs, move it up. Follow pursuit. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Next. Uh, chaos army. Uh, uh beastmen, orcs, and goblins. Beastmen. Okay. Uh. I'll, I'll take the piece of this way. Right, I'll move this, move this guy's ball, ball suit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next one, Wolf Riders. They're dead. Next one, uh, all, all Riders. They're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Uh, all Riders. They're dead. Uh, riders. They're dead. Your Riders. <laughs> uh, riders. Lots of Riders yeah. coming in now. The tank. Yeah, the cannon's gone. Yeah, that's, after a while, you go through these cards fast. Like, they're really fast. And the uh, beastmen. Same thing same as beastmen, as orcs, and goblins. Yeah. So, yeah. boom. And I'm assuming you're doing follow suit. Yeah, just moving up. Okay, and shuffle again. Let's see what happens, good sir. <laughs> I'll let you you're shuffle. You're going to let me time. shuffle at this yeah. time? <laughs> I saw Danny shuffle the cards. He, he did not cheat and put all his cards on top. <laughs> I don't want to bear responsibility. No, no. You know, pl that plus my bad rolling, this is what happens. So it's all good. 
That's why there's uh, seven uh, seven campaign battles in here. So if I lose, then we do the next campaign. So uh, it was probably first time luck, you know. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Sure. Sure. That's what it was. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, all right, next cards <laughs> yeah. up is the Wolf Riders, which are gone. Yep. Next cards up is your tank. Mm hmm. Uh, ogre guy. Ogre okay, guy. Yeah. He can't, he can't really do anything. So you you can you can skip him if you don't want if you want him to stay there. Can stay I, right I mean, there. I, he can or he can move up and try to kill him. He can him. move this direction, I guess. You want to do that? So one, just two, gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah three. He's just gonna move three times. Okay. And that's what we're gonna do. And next one is archers, and then uh, archers, riders, and your chaos warriors. Chaos warriors. You can move oh. up one to attack. Yeah. Three, uh, four, yeah, three. I'll move one to attack. And you want to move this other team troop forward up one? Yeah. And then uh, who is attacking first? Your archers or your chaos? Let's get the archers going. Alrighty. Let's see if they get slaughtered. One attack. Hit. Uh, and your chaos where you think they fought with four? Oh, uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they're, they're pretty tough. They're deadly. Ooh, so, this could annihilate them. If that's the case, the game is over. The game is over. The Chaos Army takes over the land. <laughs> not even, not even taking. Yeah, it was just, it was just uh, decimating all. I mean. Yeah, it's like, like I said, guys, boys and girls, it's all about how the cards are flipped and how definitely how the dice is rolled. Yeah. I'm gonna say a little tactician helps too. Yeah, I would say so. So otherwise, I think it was a great game. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was fun. It was awesome. Fun. Very simple, very easy, but highly entertaining. Yeah, you definitely need the room to play this, and you could play this on the floor. But if you're an older guy like me, it's gonna hurt your back. I could see how like if the if it was evenly matched how tactics can, can, you know, have a major play into it. Mm -hmm. Where you can flank, where you can set your archers Yeah, up. absolutely. Yeah. You definitely did a lot of flanking with your gobbles and your orcs and your beast, man. It was a... Uh, you know, I would rider. also mention that this seems like a really fun game that you would be able to play with your kids. Yeah. And that it's easy easy to understand enough for them to get on board. Mm -hmm. And it teaches you at least enough to be able to like go like, okay, this is movement. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, attacks. Right. You know, there's dice, there's cards. This is kind of fun for everyone. Yeah, it's a very it's a very fun game. Well, that's it for the game realm. Hope to see you next time. Later.